Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we got another exciting video. I think you guys are gonna like this one. We're gonna be testing out the proper droppers format on my truck. Uh, but before I continue, I wanna thank all the new subscribers for help us reach the thousand subscriber mark. Hopefully we can get thousands more to help us grow the channel. And like I said, today is an exciting video gonna be showing you guys the new subwoofers that just arrived I'm very excited for this one I got five boxes here out of the five boxes four of them are subwoofers hopefully you guys like them but uh, I'm gonna continue with the video and right now like I said we're gonna be testing the proper droppers format on this uh, on the system Right now we got the 4.5HC 18s and uh, we got those 18s wired to these four Taram Smart E case. Now the amplifiers are only wired to 2 ohms for subwoofer but it should give us plenty of power to get a decent number or a decent average. Now the way this format works for people that are new to the channel or never seen it before. This format is not very common in USA, but there's a lot of countries doing it, and uh, I really like to test my system doing this because uh, this format is works better on vehicles that they can play music or they're tuned low. This is not a format for vehicles that only hit a uh, one a uh, one high frequency, you know, 50, 60 hertz. This uh, format tests your vehicle on lower frequencies. And the way it works, you place your the meter right on the headrest of the vehicle, and uh, that's how you get your SPL numbers. And uh, the way it works, you test the 40 hertz test tone, and then you get the your number, your dB number. Then you try 33 hertz, same thing. You do you get your numbers. Then you try 25 hertz and 20 hertz. Now, whatever you were the loudest out of these four frequencies, that's gonna be your peak. So you're gonna put your number down here, whatever you were loudest at 33 hertz, whatever you got dB wise, but that's gonna be your number for your peak. So you're gonna end with five different scores. So what you do, you add all the five scores together, then you divide it by five, and this, that's how you get your average score dB wise. So now we're gonna go to another location and start doing the test. And uh, you guys stay tuned to the end of the video because that one's gonna show you guys the new subwoofers. Like I say, hopefully you guys like it. I'm very excited for these ones. I think these ones can help us achieve higher numbers. All right, guys, now we're on the testing location. Like I said, the meter needs to be placed by the headrest. Already got it there. Let's check, uh, we're gonna be checking for power too. We got the AM1 all good to go. And we're charging a 15.8 right now. It's a two ohm test on these four 18s. This first one is gonna be at 40 hertz. Let me set the volume on the head unit. I got the clipping set at 35, I'm gonna go all the way to 37. Gotta reset this. Like I said, 40 hertz test tone on the first one. See how it goes, how loud we can get it there. One sixty point thirteen. The meter survive up there. Sometimes it comes out or can fall fall up out of there. But uh, now we're gonna see how much power it took to do the one sixty on the headrest. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it was four thousand watts. Thirty nine sixty two. Let 
99.62 and it was a 160 160.13 160. okay now we're gonna try the 33 hertz we're gonna try the 33 see what it can do we're gonna reset the AMM1 and that way you can read power once we do the burp so it's all good to go there going down to 33 hertz meter still on the headrest everything's falling apart on the truck we should be all good now so 33 hertz. Oh, pretty good number. 159.69. And we clap. 45.42 So we're still charging a 15.7 We're getting pretty good numbers right now Now we're gonna reset this Reset the AMM1 That way we can read power for the next burp And we're gonna try 25 Hertz And we said that. All right, guys. Now we got everything ready to test the 25 hertz test tone. Like I said 25. I got the door open just a little bit. See, if we can get a little better loading. Probably gonna close the close the window on this one see how she does 25 Hertz all right a 158.75 and we clamp 4900 watts rising to 4.5 4905 now we're gonna reset the AM1 and try the 20 Hertz test tone and okay, we got that reset for this next one I'm probably gonna do it with a uh, with the door closed, window open. See what he can do like that. Okay, we're gonna try the twenty hertz. Everything should be ready. Let's see. One fifty four twenty five. Got open the door just right here. See if we can improve that. Like that's it. 154.25. Let's see how much we clamp at 20 hertz. And we 
Big Clap a modos 3500 watts 3498 rising to 4.1 ohms like I said we wired to 2 ohms now we're gonna go to the house and all these numbers it looks like our peak was a 40 hertz so it was a 160.13 that was our peak so now we got five different scores we're gonna add all this together divide it by five and get our average score all right guys now i'm back on the house now remember all the watts that we were recording we gotta multiply it by four and i got all the scores here let's see a 40 hertz we did a 160.13 with a total of 15,800 watts to do that number on the 33 Hertz did a 159.69 with almost with over 18,000 watts to do that number now on 25 Hertz did a 158.75 and we almost doubling the RMS power for all the four subwoofers there 19.6 and at 20 hertz, it did a 154.25 with uh, almost 14,000 watts. I said what I did, I multiply this number times four to get the total wattage because I'm only able to clamp one amplifier. So, and our peak was 160.13. So, what I did, I add all these five numbers together and uh, we end with a 792.95. I divided by five. And we end with a 158.59 dB average, which is pretty good. Because last time when we had uh, only two of the Tarams Smart AKs connected to one ohm, when we did that one, we were able to get a 157 dB. So we got a dB and a half improvement running these four amplifiers at two ohms like you guys can see we still got getting a lot of power even though they're rising over four ohms to over four ohm five ohms we're still getting quite a bit of power so we were able to get pretty good numbers i'm very happy with the result now i'm gonna get everything ready to show you guys the new subwoofers all right guys now i'm gonna show you guys this is the HC, it's exactly the same subwoofer that we're running right now, 2500 watt RMS, 3 inch voice coil, these ones when I order, I order in a dual ones, dual one ohm, these are the ones we were running before, the 411 Neo, it's got the 11 magnets, four inch voice, voice coil this is the one we were running before and now we're gonna open the new ones so I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod that way you guys can see it let's see Now 
Now let me get it out of the box. Okay, let me get it. I'll take this plastic. the 5 audio 3.9 news with the upgraded black news on these ones this has got a 3 inch voice coil rated to 2500 watts and it can probably handle way more than that especially on a burp and I ordered these ones with a an extra spider so this one's got a 5 spiders and uh, they are dual tools I ordered this one with the blue logo and look like these ones have the six inch dust cap compared to these ones the 411s got the seven inch dust cap and i don't know you guys can notice but this one looks like the cone is a little bit deeper than the 411 i don't know it's hard to tell on the video i don't know because of the dust cap size make it look like that but uh, I'm very excited to get these ones installed. Hopefully once we get done testing the HC18s, because I think we can still get those subwoofers a little bit louder. We're gonna be installing the Crescendo 17Ks on these subwoofers. See if we can get a higher score before we remove them and get these ones installed on the truck. What I also did, I ordered Two recones for the 411s for this one. I don't know you guys can remember, but uh, I destroyed the cone. I don't want, I don't want my one of my 411s, so I ordered two recones that way we can fix the one. It's all messed up, and uh, I can have an extra cone if I ever need it. Let me know what you guys think about this. You guys like this new subwoofer? You guys think I can do better with this one? It's a pretty nice subwoofer. I really like it. Now you guys can tell. I like this brand a lot. I've been running five audio subwoofers for quite a while. I can't wait to see, to get these ones installed. But like I said, we gotta finish with these ones first. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think I did good hopefully you guys like this video like and subscribe and I see you guys on the next one thanks for watching